Hey guys, how you doing? It's Art from Art's Model Trains. Welcome back to the channel. So, small unboxing today. Just got a package from Charles Rowe. And let's get it open. I already kind of sliced into it, but I have not opened the box yet to see what's inside. Packing peanuts, of course. Good. I've probably cleaned those out. Let's see if I can do this without making a mess. Nope. Clean those up later. All right, so what do we have? We have one of the new State of Maine New Haven Products boxcars. I uh, ordered this specifically to run with my new New York Central Legacy and the uh, 060 Switcher New Haven that I have on pre-order that's hopefully coming sometime uh, early next year. Let's open this sucker up and see what we got. Okay, got her open. Oh, nice. Got it here nice and easy. All right, very nice. Nice graphics on this, nice and crisp. Let's get it up on the track and we get a couple of uh, close-ups before we run it around so you guys can see what this looks like. So I had to look this up because I didn't know the answer, but uh, the reason why there's State of Maine boxcars all over the place, it was actually a paint scheme that was commissioned by the uh, Bangor and Arstuk Railroad. All right, I'm totally saying that wrong in the 50s. Um, and it was actually a marketing campaign. They were trying to get more products from Maine, like potatoes, sold up and down the East Coast. And that's where this came from. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Totally had to look that up. I had no idea. I always thought the boxcar just looked cool. That's why I wanted one. Okay, so we got it up on the track now, but I just want to show the end of the box here for everybody to see. It's a uh, New Haven Standard O. Uh, what's the model number here from the side here? 2243291. So everybody could see. Um, this is really nice. So one thing I've already noticed is the door has a little handle on it. Kind of pull it out a little. And of course now it's not going to work. And then it will slide open. It did it for me two seconds ago and now I can't do it. Stop. So this is a Great little box car, lots of good detail on here. The graphics are really clear. Let's bring it in nice and close so you guys can see that. Really clear. The New York, New Haven, and Hartford script right there. Um, I have tried to mess around with this door. I cannot get it open on a consistent basis. You kind of have to pull it and push it to the side. I'm not messing with it anymore, but at least it won't pop open as the car is running around. Uh, it's got some good graphics on it. Let's just tilt it up here so you can see the walk across the top is solid. Um, the wheel on the end is add-on, but everything else is molded in across the bottom. Really nice. Rolls good, too. So we're going to get it hooked up to the train, and we'll run it around the track a little bit. All right, we got the train all hooked up. Let's get her going.
thanks for watching guys uh not much of a review just kind of unboxed it threw it on the track but i hope you guys enjoyed the video it's a really cool box car glad i picked it up like i said i've been looking at these for a long time and i was going to buy like a post-war one something like that and then when these came out in the volume 2 catalog this year i decided to grab one and you know shipped really fast which is the best part crazy thing about this whole video is about halfway through filming the power went out so that caused me to scramble a little bit but i was able to piece it back together once the power came back on after about 10 minutes but thanks guys for watching please make sure to like and subscribe and you know if you're new to the channel welcome and i hope you guys enjoy what i'm putting out thanks